So this started off where my son was showing me this viral TikTok of the string shooter. And I've seen him before, but he was like, hey, you could show how to make one. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So this sent me down a little bit of a rabbit hole because then all of a sudden Steve Mould, he's a pretty good YouTuber, you should check him out if you don't know him. He ended up making a video on one and it shared a link with the company that made that video and they're trying to make it big. And then I discovered they're like $25. Now, that seems a little bit much for something that, you know, I would think you would pick up at a dollar store. So I'm gonna show you how I made one real quick with a free file off of Thingiverse. But the story's not gonna stop there because I didn't realize where this rabbit hole was gonna take me. I mean, what could really go wrong? <laughs> All right, so let's check out the first bill. Oh wait, let's get to it. Solder, 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 solder. I did have to make a modification from the original design and that was to print these in a flexible filament. And that's mainly because of the fact that trying to adjust these for size for the string that I'm using was way too hard. Theirs probably would work if you had exactly their size string, but I didn't, so there we go. And then time lapse, you might assign only add one battery, but uh, yeah, I switched it over to two. I do find it a kind of weird choice that he put his daughter's name on it because of the fact now I have his daughter's name on an object in my house. Seems kind of weird. But other than that, a great design. I love it. I'll leave a link for it down below. Let's go test it out. All right, so for the first test, this is uh, about seven feet of string, about normally what these come with. Ugh. Already knotted. All right, so for the first test, this is about seven feet of string, which is what these normally come with. So let's give this a chance. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, okay. Let's put that back on, let's try it again. Oh guys, this is just awesome. This is just boring. Boring, boring, boring. I know. Let's go bigger. All right, wait, I know where you, some of you think this is going, okay? Cause you saw the thumbnail, but I might be one step ahead of you on this. I mean, look at those cute little motors. They're nothing compared to... So now at this point, I realized that this was kind of boring and there was only one thing to do with the first one and then let's put it where it rightfully belonged. Hi. So now that we got that other one out of the way, my plan is to go bigger with some stuff I got laying around just to make it a little bit more fun. I realize other people won't be able to do this, but it's just for fun. So let's get to it again. Bike enter tube, if anybody's wondering. Okay, we're gonna pretend like this happened on camera. All right, there it is. And while we're at it, we'll pretend that I did both of them.
Thank you, honey. If anybody's wondering why I have the wires sticking out on the side like this instead of coming straight down, I want something to be able to tug on a little bit to keep some tension on here. I mean, come on, 14 volts, what could go wrong? Think some wipe on poly might be a good choice. As I always do. So we went a little bigger, 30 amps, four cell, I believe 2100 KV motors, drone motors. Anyways, that should get us going. Plus uh, double the length of the string. Let's see what we get to do. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Oh, that's scary. I don't want my finger in there. <laughs> oh, it's coming apart. There's only one thing to do now. We gotta go bigger. One more time. Till she blows. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's go bigger. Okay, 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 okay. I couldn't, I could not leave it alone. Cause there's one thing that ran through my mind. I mean, look at those cute little motors. They're nothing compared to what happens if you used a two and a half horse motor, right? Like bigger, like something that's made to do more work. Yeah, you know me, I like my treadmill motors and I'm gonna make one with a treadmill motor. And then we're gonna stick about 35 feet of string on it. All right, let's get to it. So right here, I'm gonna dilute a little silicone with a little naphtha, and then that way it, it's gonna make it where I could get this on the sides and it's gonna be runny. The reason why I'm doing this is so that, that way it has a, like a rubber layer to grip onto. If you saw the other ones, they had rubber that helped grip down to the string. And that's what this is gonna do is provide a surface of rubber basically. So instead of trying to spread it on here where it would end up with lumps and different spots, I could just coat it.
I'm gonna leave the extra on there so I can adjust it if needed. Can you come out? Never mind. So this is a 2.25 horsepower motor. And oh man, it doesn't say on here, does it? Anyways, I believe this is about 1,800 RPMs. This is just stupid. like too big to catch on camera. Oh, and now it's hovering. That was cool. Oh. Maybe don't crank it up immediately. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> I think we're done here. We'll just... Yeah. Easy packaging. Yeah, easy packaging, we got it. All right, now some people might be thinking that I'm just doing this for the views, but if you think that's the case, clearly you don't know me. I just asked the question and I had to have an answer. So there it is. Can you build one with a treadmill motor? Two and a half horse, well, 2.25. Yes, you can. Hey, if you like the video, give it a share. See you next time.